Boeing and United Airlines want to know why a wheel fell off of a plane headed for Japan. Wanting to know is the first step. Video shows the tire falling just after takeoff right onto the ground. In the realm of aviation, trust is paramount. Passengers rely on the meticulous engineering and rigorous safety standards of aircraft manufacturers like Boeing to ensure their journeys are safe. However, recent events have cast a shadow over Boeing's reputation, raising concerns about the company's commitment to safety and quality. In recent years, Boeing, once synonymous with innovation and excellence in aerospace engineering, has been marred by a series of mishaps and crises, culminating in a loss of public confidence and significant financial setbacks. From manufacturing defects to governance failures, the downfall of this once great company can be attributed to a combination of factors that have compromised its future. In this video, we delve into the root causes of Boeing's decline, examining the misaligned merger, the lack of in-house skills, and the governance problems that have plagued the company over the years. Boeing is back in the news thanks to Alaska Airlines, and a particular flight incident involving a Boeing aircraft on January the 5th, which sent shockwaves through the aviation industry and the public at large. Alaska Airlines has grounded its Boeing 737 MAX 9 fleet after one of its planes made an emergency landing in the U.S. state of Oregon. Passengers on board experienced a terrifying ordeal when a part of the plane, known as the emergency door plug, unexpectedly blew out mid-flight at an altitude of 16,000 feet. The emergency door plug, typically a seamless component of the aircraft's fuselage, failed to stay put, resulting in a gaping hole in the plane. This incident occurred on a Boeing-made aircraft, raising immediate concerns about the safety and integrity of Boeing's fleet. Safety is at the core of who we are at Boeing. Fortunately, the seat next to the panel where the door plug blew out was unoccupied, and there were no fatalities or injuries reported. However, the incident prompted federal investigators to launch a thorough inquiry to determine the root cause of the failure. For passengers and the general public, the Alaska Airlines flight incident underscored the critical importance of robust safety measures and rigorous quality control in aircraft manufacturing. It also added to the growing scrutiny surrounding Boeing's safety record, particularly in the wake of previous mishaps involving its aircraft, such as the two fatal crashes of the 737 MAX series. But data from both incidents right after takeoff showed the planes jolting up and down erratically. Shortly after takeoff, both the Ethiopia and Lion Air flights experienced drops in similar intervals before crashing just after takeoff. The most devastating blow to Boeing's reputation came from two fatal crashes involving its 737 MAX aircraft. Lion Air Flight 610 crashed in October 2018, followed by Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 in March 2019. These tragedies claimed a total of 346 lives and led to the worldwide grounding of the 737 MAX fleet for nearly two years. Subsequent investigations revealed systemic issues within Boeing's manufacturing and safety protocols, sparking widespread scrutiny and public outcry, and investigations into the 737 MAXs themselves revealed design flaws in the aircraft's maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, which was intended to prevent stalls. However, faulty sensor readings could trigger the MCAS to push the aircraft's nose down repeatedly, leading to a loss of control by the pilots. As you can imagine, the grounding of the 737 MAX fleet resulted in significant financial losses for Boeing. The company incurred costs related to compensating airlines, addressing production slowdowns, and implementing fixes to make the aircrafts airworthy again. Boeing's stock price plummeted and it faced lawsuits from victims' families, airlines, and shareholders. Beyond the 737 MAX debacle, Boeing's woes persist. Instances of malfunctioning aircraft components and the detachment of a wheel from a Boeing-made Delta plane further erode confidence in the company's products. A Delta Boeing 757 getting ready for takeoff, losing one of its nose tires. Delta 982, this is the aircraft looking at you. you. One of your nose tires just came off. You have located the tire. Yes, sir, we're in the safety area on the uh, south, south shoulder. Safety is at the core of who we are at Boeing. The root of Boeing's problems can be traced back to its corporate culture, which underwent a dramatic transformation in the late 20th century. This is nothing new. Influenced by the aggressive cost-cutting ethos of executives like Jack Welch, Boeing shifted its focus from meticulous engineering to profit maximization. What you gonna do, Gary? The acquisition of McDonnell Douglas and subsequent integration of its cutthroat management practices exacerbated this shift, sidelining concerns about safety in favour of financial efficiency. 
The acquisition of McDonnell Douglas by Boeing in 1997 marked a significant shift in the aerospace industry landscape. While McDonnell Douglas bought a rich legacy in aircraft manufacturing, including iconic models like the DC-3, the company was struggling to compete with the likes of Boeing and Airbus. Lacking the resources for new product development, McDonnell Douglas saw the merger as an opportunity to exit the industry. However, the integration of McDonnell Douglas into Boeing's operations was fraught with challenges. The management team from McDonnell Douglas, known for its cost-conscious approach, exerted influence over Boeing's operations, shifting the company's focus towards cost-saving measures and shareholder wealth. This shift in leadership dynamics had profound implications for Boeing's corporate culture and strategic direction, leading to a departure from its traditional emphasis on engineering excellence. Under the stewardship of McDonnell Douglas executives, Boeing adopted a new operating model, focused on outsourcing and risk-sharing. Concerned with limiting risks and development costs, Boeing recruited partners from around the world to invest in new aircraft programs and co-develop plane models. While this approach had been successfully employed in previous projects such as the 767 and the 777, the scale and complexity of the outsourcing strategy implemented post-merger posed significant challenges. Boeing's growing reliance on external partners for critical components and subsystems undermined its in-house engineering capabilities and system integration expertise. As the company shifted its focus towards final assembly and system integration, it lost some of the depth in its industrial competencies, further exacerbating its operational vulnerabilities. Decades of cyclical fluctuations in the civilian airliner market had conditioned Boeing to resort to layoffs during downturns in demand. However, this practice resulted in the loss of highly experienced workers and engineers, leaving the company ill-prepared to meet future engineering and production needs. While outsourcing helped mitigate this shortfall in skilled personnel, it also introduced new challenges relating to collaboration and coordination across a global supply chain network. Boeing's decision to move design and development activities to lower-cost locations like Moscow proved detrimental as it compromised the company's access to experienced talent and expertise. The shift to composite materials for major parts of aircraft structures further compounded the challenges, as Boeing and its partners struggled to navigate the complexities of working with unfamiliar materials and manufacturing processes. The tragic accidents involving the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft exposed deep-seated flaws in the company's product design, development and certification processes. Shortcuts taken to accommodate a larger, more efficient engine, combined with a failure to adequately address reliability issues in the new control software, which led to catastrophic consequences. Boeing's corporate culture, shaped by the legacy of McDonnell Douglas, prioritised cost-saving measures over safety and transparency, resulting in a breakdown of trust with regulatory authorities and customers. The governance failures at Boeing, including the absence of a dedicated board member responsible for safety oversight, further compounded the company's woes. Shareholder lawsuits and regulatory fines underscored the board's failure to fulfil its fiduciary duty to monitor quality and ensure the integrity of Boeing's operations. The ousting of CEO David Muhlenberg and subsequent board restructuring signalled a recognition of the need for fundamental changes in the company's governance structure and corporate culture. As Boeing grapples with the fallout from a series of crises, the road to redemption is fraught with challenges. Rebuilding public trust, restoring regulatory confidence and redefining its corporate identity will require concerted efforts at all levels of the organisation. Addressing the root causes of Boeing's downfall from the legacy of the McDonnell Douglas merger to the governance failures that permeated the company's operations is essential to charting a path forward. With renewed leadership and a commitment to transparency, accountability and safety, Boeing has the potential to regain its standing as a global leader in aerospace innovation. However, the journey towards redemption will be long and arduous, requiring a fundamental re-evaluation of the company's values, priorities and strategic focus. Only time will tell if Boeing can rise from the ashes of its past mistakes and reclaim its position at the forefront of the aerospace industry.